What's up, everybody? Big Herc916, and you tune in to another edition of my vlog. Um, subscribe to the channel. If you are looking to be entertained, to have some positivity in your life or some motivation, this is the channel. So hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to my Instagram, Big Herc916, and my Twitter. You don't want to miss out on any of my posts. I'm always posting something cool. And I want to talk about men taking back your place in society. You know, it's gotten to the point now where if a man compliments a woman, he has to worry about whether or not he'll be accused of harassment. If a man, uh, you know, does something um, in a friendly manner, it could it'd be considered uh, harassment, you know, because he uh, held her held her hand too uh, long, or tried to give her a hug, or or uh, made a gesture, and then the women. They are left with these weenie ass guys that are scared to do anything and they complain that there's no no real men around. Well, the real men are there. You just have to stop acting like you don't want what the man has to offer. Quit fronting for your friends. Quit trying to be all sanctified. You know as well as the men know that you're just as horny as the next person. You pretend that you don't have these sexual urges or the cravings, but when a guy does something, you say he's being perverted, but when you're do when you're doing it, you're being assertive. I don't get it. But when you you get around these guys who act all demasculized, these guys who have no no balls, you talk all this stuff about you know your sexual escapades and this and that because you know these guys are harmless. They're not going to look at your breast. They're not going to admire your ass. And you feel empowered talking to them. But when the real man tries to give you some real attention, you don't know how to even act. Women, stop acting like you don't want the attention. You know, stop acting like you're not also attracted to these men because you are. But you send out the wrong messages. You know, you 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 make up uh you make up certain things when it doesn't go your way. I mean if the guy doesn't call you the next day or if you know the date doesn't uh turn out the way you expect it, then it could be considered, oh, well, um, I didn't really consent. Well, look, if you decided to have sex with someone and they didn't hold you down, force you to drink alcohol, make you stay in the house against your will, it was consensual. You guys, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a bad experience just because you had sex and the next day you feel guilty. What do you feel guilty about? You had an orgasm. He had an orgasm. You had multiple orgasms and then in the morning you want to have sex again. But then maybe you had a, 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 a moment of reasoning and you felt like, oh my God, why did I do that? And now this guy's a bad guy. No, he was a good guy. He made you feel good. So stop 
you know, pointing a finger at these guys who are actually there for your uh, for your enjoyment. These guys are who are there to actually, um, you know, give you some type of uh, fair exchange and embrace him. You know, it, it's such a it's such a rough world out there trying to figure out who's genuine and who's not genuine. And, you know, I hear uh, young women especially talk about trying to, you know, find men these days. And they say they're all weenies. You know, the guys, they just, they don't, they, uh, they don't have their shit together or, you know, they're, they're not, uh, um, they're not aggressive. They don't, you know, they're just not very uh, manly. Why is that? Well, you have to ask yourself, you know, when you kicked all the real guys to the curb, all that's left is a bunch of weenies. If you want the, you know, a real one, then you have to be willing to open up and share. And, and you know, it's all right to say, hey, you know, I enjoyed sex or I like having sex. It doesn't have to mean, it doesn't mean that you're... Uh, a slut or a hoe or anything like that. I've never, I don't understand when guys say, oh, she's a slut. Well, what are you? I mean, if you enjoy sex, you know, more power to you. Empower yourself with it. But also, you know, allow yourself to be loved by the right man. You know, there are good men out there. And, you know, when you talk about, um, you know, oh, well, where are the, all the, the, you know, the good guys at? Well, you got to stop putting up all these, um, you know, mixed signs and and uh, basically, uh, you know, blocking them out of your life so you can start enjoying their companionship. You know, it's, it's like you guys, you know, on one end, you got the sissy guy who you boss around and, you know, you tell him how to dress and you basically, you know, you punk him. But then you have this fantasy about this guy who's a, a straight savage, who's a, you know, uh, an animal, and he's just, you know, ravaging you, you know, and you're in conflict because you can boss around the, the sissy guy, tell him what to do, go do this, go do that, shut up, sit down, but then you want to be dominated. So which one is it? Do you want the... The domination or do you want the sissy guy who listens to you but on the side you got some guy who's just a straight animal who beats it up you got to make up your mind there's good guys out there you know and uh you women man you 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 gotta you gotta decide you know take charge you know and realize that uh you can't have you can't have it both ways you know, you can't have it both ways. And uh, you guys out there, man, like I said, uh, you know, you know, if, if you if you are if you're a young savage, you're a young hog, you know what I mean? Um, handle your business, man. You ain't gotta be a weenie. Don't don't weenie weenie out. Be you. You know, stick to your game plan. And uh, you know, if all else else fails and you're getting a lot of headaches by the women you know, that are over here in the United States, man, go foreign. There's a lot of foreign women out there who will uh, who will take care of you, you know what I mean? So go foreign if you have to, man. Excuse me. And uh, get what you're looking for. You ain't got to put up with the domestic stuff, man, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I thought I'd have shared that about the women. You guys out there, hopefully, uh, you know, we get some good comments on this video so we can create some dialogue. Big Herc 916.